two of this week's series of TV reviews. This week it is The Flash. And, uh, well, let, let's just tear the band-aid right off and get into Braden's recap. The Flash. Season 3, Episode 1, the start of our Flashpoint Paradox. So, taking us from the end of last season, we saw after Barry's dad get killed, very sad, very heartbreaking. Sorry to bring it up again. I'm sorry, okay? It's hard. I know. Barry struggled to deal with it. Went back in time. Saved his mum. And we kick off at the start of this episode where uh, he is in the new timeline that has now been created from, from this event, from this Flashpoint event. So, in this new timeline, uh, we see a huge amounts of things have changed. Uh, so, uh, there's a huge war going on uh, between Captain Cold and Heatwave. They're absolutely tearing the city up. Um, Flash is having a lot of trouble dealing with that. His powers aren't working. Uh, he needs to seek help um, from, from someone to try and get his powers back, to try and fix what's going on and try and stop the war and stop all these people from getting killed. You know, so many other members of, of the Legends of, of, of Tomorrow have been killed, you know. A lot of people from Star City have been killed. A lot of Flash's friends have been killed. So he goes looking for someone to help him get his powers. Now, obviously, we don't have Batman, so who he goes to look for? That's right, he goes and looks for Harrison Wells. So, obviously, in this Flashpoint, he, he hasn't been taken over by uh, Eobard Thorne. He is Harrison Wells, makes the particle accelerator and everything like that. So he goes to see him to get him to create a particle exp accelerator explosion to give him his powers and everything like that to stop everything. And then from there, he uh, gets his powers back. He works with with Wells to um, fight against Heatwave and Captain Cold, and they've got their own armies and everything like that as well. It's just absolutely brutal. Everything's getting torn up, and. Uh, Reverse Flash shows up and like, you fucked everything up when you saved your mum. So then he realises he has to go back and stop himself from saving his mum. And it was just fantastic. Oh, hang on a minute. That, that didn't happen. Shit. Fuck sakes. Um, yeah, well, so he saved his mum. He went back in time. And while he was the Flash, and Cisco was rich and did know Iris... Joe didn't really care. His parents were alive. And there was another bad guy, Speedster. And then they fixed it. But when he fixed it, there were still problems. And the problems were that Iris didn't talk to her dad. Fuck's sakes. <sighs> yep. Done. Am I free to go? <laughs> this is why I didn't want to get involved. Crime fighting sucks. So, I take it from that, brain <laughs> that you did not like The Flash this week. That's correct. Did not like The Flash this week. I was incredibly bored, incredibly let down and disappointed. And... Fucked hard. <laughs> what was that? What did you say? I said, look at me. I don't know, now he's fucked. Well, that's part of fucked hardery is definitely. So now I know. I said, is that because you're a fucked hard? No, it was shit. It was nothing fucking happened. Look, look. I covered it in the fucking synopsis. It goes to this fucked up timeline where things are just a little bit twisted and kind of shit and boring. But what are you, what are you talking about, you fucking idiot? You went to the good timeline. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Brain, you and me. You and me. One on one. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Listen. Listen right now. Fuck shit. Settle down with your gang signs. Fucking hell. I know you're from Moe, but <laughs> shit. <laughs> No, 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 God damn it! I'm going to speak. And here's what I have to say to you, okay? So he starts off this entire episode in the life he wanted with his mom and his dad, but he's forgetting everything like that. 
And so he needs to do the ultimate thing the Flash doesn't want to do, which is ask Reverse Flash to kill his mother so he can get the timeline back. And so Reverse Flash is like, yeah, you know, the day's going to come where you're going to beg me to kill your mother. And it literally makes him, makes Barry say, I need you to kill my mother. <laughs> to which he's like, yeah, I know. No, I did that! <laughs> Matt, hit it again. One more time. Now, what I was saying was, so, like, then it gets to that point and he makes him beg for it. Then he takes him back, kills his mother, fucks it up, and then he's like, congratulations, I dropped you back into where you would normally be in time. Oh, um, yeah, you're in my reality now, but you don't really know how to fix it because you're literally new and a dumb fuck, and I've been doing this for, like, 25 years since I can't kill you. I want to make your life as painful as possible because now you've got to slide as this shit and try to work out ways to jump from reality to reality, reality, reality in, in a way to try to fix this, which you can't do because I've tailor-made this so that the more you try to fix it, the more you're going to fuck yourself up. So enjoy that. That's the paradox, you dumb fuck. See ya! And away he runs. And then Barry's all like, Dude, the other Matt? I'm really happy for you. I'll let you finish. But the problem here is that, like... We're now stuck in episode one. What you're going to find is going to happen is that he's going to bounce to all these dimensions and how he's actually going to get back is by combining the forces of his buddies in the in the Legends, his buddy named Green Arrow, and that special new friend he has because she's what's going to bring all the worlds together, Supergirl, and that's how we bring them all into one reality. They all become buddies and the whole world ties together because they did say way back when it's the Flash who ties together all these worlds coming together. Boom, Flashpoint Paradox is an entire 12 episode arc. You are being pissed off by the prelude and being worked like a fucking mark by the storyline. So settle your tea kettle, my dear fellow, because Reverse Flash just pulled a heel turn of epic proportions. Speak away if you have anything. So what I just took from that was the last five minutes was the only thing that mattered. Everything prior to that had zero relevance. So why could they not have given what I said in my synopsis and made it fucking awesome, show a fucked up fucking timeline? He's still gonna go to reverse flash. Hey, I'm really happy for you, I'm gonna let you finish. <laughs> so why couldn't we get a fucking awesome fucking fucked up timeline he still has to go see Reverse Flash, he still has to beg him to kill his mother, and then we can move on to all that other shit you're talking about. My argument is, everything prior to that was boring. The fucked up timeline wasn't fucked up, it was just boring. I didn't, didn't care, there's nothing happened, it was shithouse. So yep, everything else that happens prior to that, yep, okay cool, we got little bits of fucked up bits of pieces and shit going on pr after that whole event. But the main chunk of the Flashpoint, or the, the big part of the Flashpoint Paradox, is supposed to be that fucked up timeline that he has to fix by not saving his mother in the end. So I get that they sort of had to get that out of the way quickly to make this show work and to make a flow with the other shows and everything. But they could have done this timeline better. It was shit and it was boring. You know what? You know what? There's one thing I need to do right now, and uh, your opinions are so dumb. I'm, I'm tagging out. I'm tagging somebody else in. Matt, you ready? Let's tag you on in, buddy. Um, Brayden, you're a dumb fuck. Um, because they're in the Flashpoint panic. They haven't tied it up. They haven't fixed it. So what the fuck are you whinging about, you swingy sack of shit? You're looking at something where... The reverse flash has basically fuck, mind fucked Barry while he's in prison saying like you're going to need my help and you're going to beg me for, to kill your mother because the, the, the reverse flash is already knowing this is starting to happen before Barry realises it. Alright? Because he's been doing it for a longer time so he's got more grasp of the timeline and, and, and all the fucking bullshit and the speed force. So... When he goes and returns Barry and says, oh yeah, time's right back for me, I'll let you ha handle yours, because he knows that he Barry has fucked it up. 
because he's starting the paradox of where he can't fix the timelines because he's fucked it up so many times and he needs the help of all his buddies to, to fix it, to get to the point of where he goes, right, this part in the timeline, when I did this, I need to fix it here, not just at my mum's fucking death scene. Death scene. Are, are, um, you, are you deaf? Are you deaf, like just a little bit? Like, is all that hair that didn't grow on your face growing in your ears instead? I just said everything prior to that was shit house, was boring. The timeline was crap. They could have made it better. I'm really happy for you. I'll let you finish. You're a fucking idiot, Brayden. The whole point in the fucking start of this was like, this is what Barry wanted. It wasn't supposed to be like the Flash is saving anything. He had. Kid Flash doing it, so he didn't have to do it, so he could just concentrate on the thing that he wanted most was that he had his parents, he had, he was working on fucking, um, what's her name? Iris. Iris. He was working on Iris, he was working on the things that he wanted the most in his life, and he had it in this timeline, it wasn't supposed to be the Flash is saving the day in this part, because that was Kid's Flash job, and he was just like, yeah, I'm going to help my buddy, um, because you need my help. And then he did, but, and then, you know, Kid Flash got killed and that was a bit sad and shit. And, but my point is that it wasn't supposed to be action-packed because it was what Barry wanted in, in his head. This is what he wanted. And it was only until shit started getting fucked up and he stopped remembering things and he noticed the, the, the differences in the timeline and, and everything else where he's going, fuck. I have fucked it up and it just got progressively worse until the point where he goes to reverse flash and says, can you kill my mom because I fucked it up? And then that's when the paradox has started, not finished. Because the paradox is coming. It still, it, had, it, it wasn't like, oh yeah, um, we killed, we killed uh, the Flash's mom and, and the paradox is fine. He didn't get Iris back because it's still in the paradox. So it's not... It's not done yet because you've got a couple more fucking episodes of the paradox to go. I didn't say it was done. I did. See, he can still have all that. He can still have his mum. He can still have Iris. But everything else can still be fucked. In the Flashpoint Paradox movie, that happened. He goes back. He wakes up. His mum's alive. He's got Iris. But the whole fucking world is about to be destroyed. So why can't, why can that not happen? Why can he not go, oh, my mum's alive and my dad's alive and, you know, I'm going to start hitting on Iris and then fucking, you know, half the city gets blown up in a fight between Captain Cold and Heatwave or something, just for example. And, and, and then from there, I didn't, I, I know that this isn't the end of the, I know this isn't the end of the paradox, but from there, then moving to what they're doing. I'm just saying that this first part of the paradox was boring. Nothing fucking happened in this alternate timeline. When, when a massive storm is brewing, right? say in America, they have a fucking tornado that's brewing, right? When that tornado, like say it's a level fucking, like say it's like a level 10 tornado, you know? It's not just going to fucking hit within a split second and just go, you know what, level, five, level 10 tornado, fuck you. It's going to go, a bit of wind, a bit, a bit more rain, and then it's going to get heavier. And it's going to get heavier, and you're going to have shit flying around, then they're going to have the, the warnings going out saying, look, we've got a fucking tornado coming, you've got to get the fuck out of town. Then it's going to fucking hit and get fucked up. It doesn't go fucking, oh yeah, um, I'm just going to be a tornado right now. Right now. Okay, so I go back in time, and I say, I'm Barry, I go back in time, and I change shit, and then that... Timeline immediately changes, so but everything in that timeline just changes just a little bit, just slowly, just slowly, just a little bit. It's not that that build up has already happened because that time has passed since he saved his mother. They could have done this episode better. I know this isn't the end of the paradox, I know there's more to come, but this. this timeline should have been so much better, and it was boring, it was shit. Everybody, everybody hold positions. Freeze. Have you got anything you want to say, Wayne? No, I'm actually just what, loving... So you don't want to get involved in the argument? No. Okay, have, have you got anything left? Well, I'm not just because I think Matt's wrapped up, so if you do, he can always tag you in if he doesn't think you want to say. No, 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 I'm good, I'm good. Alright, cool. Are you done? Mm-hmm. Are you done?
Yeah, okay. Alright, then we'll come back for Red Alert in three, two. Alright, well, that was an intense debate there by everybody. Um, Braden, you're. Look, I. An idiot? You. A dog? You are literally. Yeah, well, yeah. You are, you are literally like. You're at Luke Cage episode one, and you're like. Well, this fucking shit, he's not even, like, fighting the bad guy. This is crap. I don't even know how he became Luke Cage yet. This show's shit. Shut up. Just shut up. Kanye. I'm really happy for you. I'm going to finish. You're wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. Oh, I'm really happy for you. I'm going to finish. You're wrong. You're wrong. They should have had him in this episode. He could have been in this episode. Am I wrong to say that if Cap if Heatwave was in this episode? No, but that's fuck everything is better with Heatwave. That's the dumbest fucking statement. That's like saying, hey, hey, am I right? Am I right in saying that like, like you know what would make this really better? No, this would this would make it fucking amazing. Just get Batman in. I like how he accidentally hit wrong in there as well. He, he Matt fucked himself. That's pretty funny. As only Matt can. Damn. Nah, what you ba this is what Braden's just said. Man, I hate like how great would it be if like you know, um, everything came with like free ice cream. It's like yeah, no shit, you dumb fuck. You're like a, you're a, he, he. I don't actually eat ice cream, so. I don't that is quite, yeah, it's quite so much about you. I'd really pick him as the kind of person that'd be like watching a new TV series with someone that's already watched it and be like, dude, what happens next? You know who I reckon pegs in? The Mum Knight. <laughs> in the boat. They say it's up. Yeah, yeah getting, 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 getting pugged in the butt isn't getting some. That's just getting raped. Especially while you're asleep. Uh, Do you pretend to be asleep so it doesn't like hurt your ego, or, or you, like, or do you just let it happen and just be like, you know what, it's happening anyway, so I may as it's well. It's happening. I just made, I, I'm just not going to fight it. He bites down on the pillow. <laughs> you're you're not pulling out anymore. Yeah, that's why you've got two kids. <laughs> hey, legitimate oh, question. Yeah, we when you go when you're going back to that that Luke Cage analogy, that is just fucking horseshit. Because it, that that's that's season one of a fucking show where they're building up characters. This has characters established that they can use that they can use to make this better. Okay, 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 okay. Kanye, Kanye. I'm really happy for you. I'm you okay, Daredevil season two. Did they start that off and be like, well, let's start the season with like that epic fucking fight between Punisher and Wilson Fisk? No, no, they didn't. No. They built towards no. that. Started building up new characters. They built to what? Yeah, they started building up new characters and, and stuff. That's what we're getting here. We're building up new storyline. We're building up new characters because all of these characters are now different. You stupid fuck. But there haven't been any new. They're in a mirror universe, you dumb shit. That, that, okay, I will give you the biggest piece of symbolism. No, no, blah, blah, blah. Alright, round two, bring it on. Round two, round two, round two. Alright, here you go. Here's why, here's why you are to quote Lex Luthor wrong. The answer is because we are in a mirror universe. You saw at the end a mirror get fucking writing put on it. That would imply two things. That would imply two things. One, we are through the mirror universe, through the looking glass, Alice in Wonderland style symbolism by the directors. And two, well, three things, technically two that we just met Mirror Master, but three things in this world are different. We saw Edward Claris die, and he, even though he was the rival in that other universe, he's about to become the rival because shit is going down because all the universes are blending in together. There are multiple universes. The Flash hasn't actually gone to just another time. He's gone to a parallel universe. Every, everything you're bringing up here is... Not even in argument to what I'm saying because it's all after. Yeah, because it's all the ramifications of getting what he wants. The whole episode was based around him getting what he wanted and it blown up in his face. Fuck! What? Why? Could... 
He could have got what he wanted and have all that shit. They could have. Oh my god! You're just a fucking retard! <laughs> he sat around for the whole episode going, I got my mum and I got my dad and I got Iris and oh shit, now I'm gonna. Now I'm just. That's it, Matt. Tagging you back in. Tagging you back in, bro. Um, Brayden. This is, again, I'm gonna say something I've said before. This is the first fucking episode of the season. This is gonna go on for a couple of fucking. So shut up! Stop whinging about it, because in about four or five episodes, you're going to be like, you know what? That was fucking brilliant. No, you will. You will. I'm calling it. Five episodes. He would have changed his own and he'd be like, you know what? Episode one makes sense now, because they're building up to the Flashpoint Paradox, not just doing the Flashpoint Paradox in one episode. That's not how many fucking times I'm gonna say it to you, mate, you don't shit. I know that this is the fucking start. They could have made the start fucking better. Okay, when you... When you start a movie, right, you don't peak at the fucking start. You build the story up, you have some fucking action, you draw interest into the storyline, then you have your fucking event in the middle of the fucking movie, so this will be like four... Oh, what, maybe six, seven episodes into, se like, Flash Season 3. So, your build-up is in first episodes, leading up to the fourth, fifth episode. You have a plot twist, and you peak in the fucking middle, and then you wrap it down in the end. Does it have to be the peak? Why does that have to be that? Because it's fucking cinema cinematography 101. Build interest, build story, build character development, have your fucking event... Then, do the wrap up! You're a fucking mom! Legit! Like, you're the fucking... Isn't starting until next fucking episode anyway, so it makes zero fucking difference! Five episodes! Five episodes you'll be changing... No, 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 no! Five episodes you'll be changing your time, bitch! I'll bet fucking money on it! That's all I'm saying! No, what's money gonna do? You, you don't have money in Mo! What the fuck are you gonna give me mo money for? I can't fucking use mo money for anything. The exchange rate would probably be like, I don't know, if you gave me five dollars in mo money, I might have a fifth of a cent. <laughs> All I'm saying is the start of this could have been better. They could have given us additional characters. They could have. They could have done something. They did fucking. It was boring up until that last five minutes. Nothing happened. There was no real consequences for him doing what he was doing up until sort of the end, where he's like, "Oh, maybe we should." Oh fuck! Yeah, all right. We should f probably turn it back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and that was this week's flash. Uh, oh, I need a minute. <laughs> wow, um, that that got out of hand quick. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Um. Anybody got, anybody got anything else they want to... Wayne, you've been suspiciously quiet. What did you think of this week's Flash? Actually, I want to watch it again. I want to watch it again now. It's a good app. Mm. It's a good app. Yeah, it is. Well, then let's award it so that we can see how good an app we, we all think it is. First of all, let's hand out a Guggenheim. I'm going to go first. Yeah. Don't have one. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm struggling to find one. Either. Like even the even though the the um what was that uh, villain? The rival. The rival. He was kind of shit, but he wasn't like. You'll be getting to see more of him. They'll, they'll yeah. expand him but, as the season yeah, goes along. It's, it's going to be great. He's character getting character development. character development. Yeah. It's going to yeah. be fantastic. Yeah. yeah. So, so yeah, I don't have one. It was, nice, it was nice getting a sample of him in that mirror universe to begin with, because now yeah. when we see him now. We'll be like, oh, he's different because this is a different world. Good touch, Flash. You did good stuff there. Yeah. Wayne, who you got? At the moment, no one. Hmm. 
Yeah, Brayden, who are you giving yours to? Everybody. Ty fucking Flash. The writers. The Flash universe. Not anything. They did nothing. Anybody, anybody who watched The Flash gets my fucking Guggenheim, uh... Watch it, watch it, it's gonna build up to something the, nice, but... Fuck's <laughs> sake! You just said it was gonna build up to something nice! And you <laughs> sit here and fucking shit canning it! Call it fucking boring, you're like, you know what? It'll build up to something fucking nice! Matthew, Matthew, Matthew. You love your mum? I'm, I'm just getting close to my microphone because I don't think you've heard a single fucking word that I've said at all. The start of this season has been shit because they did nothing. I know that things are coming. I look forward to seeing those things coming. But the start was shit. Nod your head if you understand what I'm saying here. Do you comprehend? I understand what you're saying. I understand what you're saying. I, you I don't kidding? fucking agree okay. with your stupidity. I know, I know you're like, I know you're like forty-six percent retarded. <laughs> just, just, just listen. All right. Uh? Thank you. <laughs> what are we doing? What am I listening to? I, I didn't hear shit. All I heard was just a bad opinion that, about something that hasn't happened yet. Well, yeah, that was good. That's three rounds of it. Wow. Um, so you're giving it to the writer's brain? Yeah. All right, cool. All right, who are we giving our Hack Ransons to? Well, I've got Aaron Paul's. Mm -hmm. To Flash and Reverse Flash. Not bad. Because that was a great interaction between Not those bad. two. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give mine to Reverse Flash. He was excellent. That part, of that bit where he's like, you know, you're gonna make me beg. One day you'll make me. One day, one day you'll beg me to do just it. Like the and then the other is just like, he's like, the whole time. Tell me what you want me to do. Tell me, what, like, ask me, beg me to do it. And then when Barry's finally like, I want you to do it. He's like, I know. Say the word. Yeah, I know. That, that's what fucking got me. It was just like the like, part, the part though, that I did laugh a little bit at in this episode was that he's like. You know, he put me in this glass cage flash that has bars that they both grab that are clearly exposed, so it's like... <laughs> yeah, it's for that shit. Shit. But anyway. That's alright. Um, reflections and shit. Wayne, who are you giving your grants to? I'm going to have to say Kid Flash. I finally got to see the uniform, you know, in real life. Wouldn't protect the top of his head, stupid. No, no. Stupid! And the problem is, he's the only black kid in the uh, whole show, so... That's true. So, you know, I guarantee you know who he is. I did like how cocky he was, though. Mm. Yeah. That's sort of, uh, that, was, that was original Wally, when you yeah. think about it. That was yeah. Wally when we first met him. That was awesome. It is, it is a stupid costume, but that's what it looks like in the comic book. I know. It's yeah. just a dumb costume. It's, it's kind of like, it's kind of like when you put a towel around your head. What? Or a t-shirt. Yeah. It's like, well, you liked that costume, though, didn't you? No. Good. He did. <laughs> I know he did. He doesn't have good opinions. There's, there's, there's no person that liked it as well. I, I actually liked it. Look out, Brayden's leaving the gear fucking tower. Oh, good, you got ISIS Daredevil. I'm happy for you. <laughs> Is that Halal approved? <laughs> Is it Jalal approved? <laughs> Run! <laughs> um, Brayden, who are you giving your grants to? Uh, I think I'm going to have to go with Reverse Flash as well. I really hope that he's a very constant villain through this series. Um, yeah, he was really great in the episode, like, up until the moment where he took, like, the whole episode, because he was there right from the start to finish, like, up until before the first fight. In fact, he was the only thing missing from the last five minutes that you enjoyed, so what you basically said is, you enjoyed all the shit before the last five minutes because of Reverse Flash. Lloyd, thank you very much. Hit my gavel. <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> no, that gets it now. No, I didn't like the fucking timeline. Sphincter says what? <laughs> Anyways, move on, move on. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Four thumbs up. Yeah, I'm going four. Up. That's a good one. Really draw what you in for the first episode. Um, you know, you know what I really enjoyed about it was that like it was a good app. The whole the whole app was good. Yeah. You know, not just the last five minutes for once. Yeah. Mm. Wayne? Three up. Three down. Uh, yeah. Negative Nancy, I bet he liked Arrow too. What? Why? No, don't, fuck it, don't, don't. <laughs> Alright!
No, I just no. No. This has been our civil conversational topic reviewing Flash for this week. I hope you've really enjoyed it. We'll see you on the third part and the final part of this week's TV review series when we recap Arrow. Production.